Let's do a linear regression line with some data. The data that I've got here is some coronavirus data, and I've got days since the first case appeared, and I've got the total number of cases. This happens to be January 2022. There's a link to this data in my description if you want to follow along. The first thing that I want to do is to copy this data. I don't want to have to type it into Desmos. If you were going to type it into Desmos, you would grab an empty cell and click the plus sign and add table. And then you can go ahead and start to type your data values here. We don't want to do that. Instead, we're going to copy. So I'm going to highlight all of my data by clicking, holding, and dragging through the first data value to the very last one. And then I'm going to copy. You could either right click and choose copy, or you can do control followed by the letter C. Once I've got that copied, I can go back over into Desmos and paste my data. I'm gonna do a control V, V as in Victor, to paste that data. And Desmos does a super great job of getting this data into a table. And it also gives me the graph. Let me make this a little bit larger. So I've got my data and it's labeled my values X sub one and Y sub one. I want to create the regression line, the best line that fits this data. And I can do that by using the variables that I've got in my table and the equation of a line y equals mx plus b. But to be a regression, I'm going to type it in this way, y, but it's a y1 in my data table. If yours is a y2, you would type y2 here. Notice how it automatically subscripted that. I typed in a y and a 1, and then it automatically put the 1 down below. Next, I want the tilde for the approximated, and that's right next to the number one on my keypad. So I'm gonna go shift and grab that tilde, and then mx plus b, but I want mx1 to get the data from my table plus b. Again, it automatically subscript that one. So now I've got some really great information, including this nicely fit line. I've got an R value of 0.9978. The closer that value is to one, the better this line fits your data. So 0.9978 is a really, really great R value or correlation coefficient. I also have my parameters, which I can use for the equation of my best fit line. I can write that best fit line as Y equals 722,788 X minus my B value 4.6035 times 10 to the eighth. And you can write it in one of two ways. Desmos also gives you the residuals. If I click on plot, I don't see anything, but I can click this zoom fit button that's appeared. So if I click on this zoom fit button, it gives me those um, residuals. And the residuals tell me how far away my data points are from this line. I can go ahead and zoom in a little bit on this and get a better idea. And you can see that I've got a pretty nice set of points that are fairly close to the line. Desmos does all kinds of regressions, not just linear. Take a look at this video here to learn how to do others. Thanks so much for watching.